Hello everyone. A glimpse into the diverse realms of engineering. Today, we continue our exploration, delving into more fascinating disciplines. The aim of today's session is to further expand the horizons and provide a deeper understanding of some of the equally captivating branches. We have an incredible lineup of distinguished experts who will guide us through their respective fields, unraveling the mysteries and unveiling the remarkable potential that each branch holds. Texas is the biggest science and technological festival of Asia, with a footfall of more than 175,000 people coming in annually and reaching out to more than 5 million online. The festival's activities culminate in a grand three-day event held at Texas IIT Bombay, attracting attendees from all across the globe. These attendees include students, academics, corporates, and general public. But before we begin, let's take a moment to reflect on the incredible insights we gained here. Yesterday, the esteemed professors shared the expertise and practical advice, helping us understand the intricate details of each branch. We witnessed the passion and enthusiasm that these professors brought to the table, leaving us in awe of the endless possibilities and interconnections between different branches. Now, let's dive into today's session and explore the incredible world of engineering even further. I am Jainam Shah, a third-year student in Department of Mechanical Engineering. Before we move ahead, uh, to the informative session, let's have a little fun and revisit the after movie of Tech Fest 2019, an online fest in all its glory.
Oh, that definitely gave me goosebumps. Hope your exams went well and best of luck to everyone awaiting their results. Now we are delighted to present you the virtual ed conclave by Texas IIT Bombay, where you will have the opportunity to gain profound insights into various engineering branches from distinguished professors of the top IITs themselves. This platform aims to familiarize you with different engineering branches, highlighting their similarities and differences, which will aid you in making an informed choice. Our first session today takes to a, a sky-high domain of aerospace engineering. Joining us is Professor R.K. Pan, with his extensive experience and profound knowledge in the field. We will highlight and enlighten you with the wonders and possibilities of aerospace engineering. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope uh, I am uh, visible on the screen. <clears throat> okay. Can you please confirm? Janam, can you confirm yes. that I'm audible? Yes, sir. Yes, you're audible and visible on screen. All right. All right. Okay, fine. So I'm going to uh, share my screen very quickly and uh, talk to you about uh, Aerospace engineering in general. Okay, so once I get a confirmation that the screen is visible, we can go ahead with it. Shall yes, we start? Sir. Yes, sir. We can start. Okay, great. So I am here to talk to you about uh, aerospace engineering. Although I have mentioned careers in aerospace engineering, I will answer that question through a discussion session. I will focus mainly on generally what aerospace engineering entails. To start with, uh, I would like to give you a glimpse of the activities of my own department in IIT Bombay. So just like the TechFest people have made an after film on the TechFest 2019, we also in our department have made a small film about what we do in the department. And uh, I'm going to just share my, uh, I'm just going to click on the link to show you that video, okay. Initially, so first of all, a confirmation whether it's visible or not. Were you able to see the video? Because sometimes in Zoom, there is a problem. Can you please confirm, were you able to see the video? Uh, no, sir, the video isn't visible, right? Ah, okay, so that's why. So that's why I thought I'll just quickly uh, take a confirmation. So maybe I'll show you the video directly uh, from my folder. What about now? Uh, still not visible. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Yeah, sure. Was it visible now? Uh, yes, sir, it's visible now. And also audible, I hope. Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Great. So I'll continue with it. So initially, we will show you something about IIT Bombay, very few things, and then we'll go to the department straight. So we at the Department of Aerospace Engineering are interested in things that fly or at least remain in the air for a long period of time. Anything that you can imagine, basically airplanes, helicopters, spacecraft, satellite, balloons. Our 
faculty and students try and understand the mechanism behind these flying objects, how to design and manufacture them. The discipline is divided into various sub-disciplines like aerodynamics, which deals with the forces which are generated because of air passing over a vehicle, propulsion, which gives a thrust to the vehicle to travel up, dynamics and control, which is basically controlling the vehicle in air or in ground. Aerodynamics deals with the motion of objects through air and the forces and the moments that the air exerts on the body as it moves through air. For a typical commercial transport aircraft carrying 400 plus people and weighing about 400 tons, the primary aerodynamic forces that one would be interested in are the lift force, which acts upwards and counteracts the weight of the aircraft, and the drag force, which acts like a penalty to moving an object through air. The primary objective of a researcher in aerodynamics would be to design objects which produce the required lift force at the same time maintaining minimum drag levels. The propulsion problem is to make an engine that works efficiently over a wide range of conditions. We focus on a few aspects of this complex problem. An airplane engine generates thrust by adding energy to the air flowing through the engine and this energy comes from the combustion of a fuel. Can we generate thrust with less pollution? The combustion groups are working on improvement in the existing fuel injection strategies and novel concepts like flameless combustion to enhance the engine performance. We are also interested in understanding the combustion instabilities that can cause engine failures. Irrespective of the outside atmosphere or air, the air inside the combustor needs to be maintained at such a condition where combustion is possible and there is only limited range where a turbo machine can meet these requirements. The turbo machinery group in our department is interested in understanding the intricate flow features of the turbo machine flows to make them more efficient and to work with larger margin. A lot of present day research requires simulating engineering problems on computers. Computational simulation can take an enormous amount of time even for small problems. So we often need to use multiple computers in tandem to solve some of these problems. We are broadly interested in trying to see if we can simulate these problems in a shorter amount of time with greater accuracy. We do this using two approaches. One is we use better numerical techniques that are more efficient and more accurate. The second is to use computational technology better in terms of technology like GP, GPUs, etc. Once we have these simulations, we need to visualize the results. We also work on tools to visualize this data effectively. Aerospace structures are driven by the twin objectives of high strength, stiffness, and light weight. Aerospace Structures Group is responsible for physically realizing the shape or the aerodynamic shape of the aircraft under the given set of uh, minimum weight constraints. They are also responsible for estimating the structural deflections as well as the structural strength under the given static and dynamic loading conditions. As part of the structures curriculum, students are exposed to various numerical and analytical techniques as well as in the usage of advanced aerospace materials like composites and smart materials. The branch of aeroelasticity, which involves a study of aerodynamics, controls and structures is also covered in the structures group. Just like any other vehicle, aerospace vehicles such as aircraft, missiles, launch vehicles and spacecraft need to be controlled. Dynamics and control group works to develop methodologies and tools that help in ensuring a desirable dynamical response from such aerospace and other non-aerospace systems. This is achieved through development of algorithms for navigation and guidance, simulation platforms, and control strategies. The group also has a number of experimental facilities that help in verifying and validating the ideas. Jet engine noise is a big problem for people living near airports. Uh, there are people who are working in this department on trying to understand this problem in enough detail to then try to reduce it. What about trying to reduce uh, the visibility of aircrafts, especially to our enemies? Aircrafts are detected using their uh, radar signature as well as the heat generated by the engine exhaust. 
there are faculty members in our department who are working on trying to understand this problem and then to work on designing aircrafts to reduce this problem also. So flight and flying has fascinated human beings from uh, since time immemorial, ever since they looked up at the sky and saw birds flying and wanted to imitate the same. And uh, it has been in the last 200 years that we have come to a point where powered and unpowered flight is uh, possible. And uh, this subject uh, continues to make rapid advances and this is what we are involved in as a department. Okay, friends. So that was a very, very brief overview of the activities of our department. Uh, we have a large, huge department and it is very difficult to cover all the activities in a very short time. So that's why uh, we have chosen to show you only a few uh, basic activities that we do. Okay, now um, when we come to aeronautical engineering, there is always a confusion in the minds of people regarding the difference between aeronautics and aerospace. Okay, aeronautics basically looks at atmospheric vehicles or vehicles that remain in the atmosphere, which is up to about 106 kilometers uh, from the surface of the earth. And these are essentially aircraft or helicopters or airships, an area in which I specialize. So that is aeronautics. But when you go into aerospace, you actually go into atmospheric vehicles and space vehicles. So you look at rockets, you look at missiles, and you also look at spacecraft. So the entire spectrum of aerospace engineering is covered under aerospace, whereas aeronautics is only a subset of the aerospace engineering. Right. Question that arises in the minds of students is that why should we take aerospace engineering as our subject or why should we work in this particular field? Okay. So uh, I have a few points uh, which uh, can allow, uh, enable you to arrive at a choice. Uh, the first and the foremost thing that I want to talk in favor of aerospace engineering is that uh, it is a branch which is always at the cutting edge of technology. The improvements in any field of engineering immediately are absorbed and applied by aerospace engineers. And therefore, this is a subject which actually encompasses all fields of technology. You name a field of uh, engineering and immediately I can show you some kind of an application or a correlation with the requirements of aerospace engineering. The other aspect which is very interesting is that aerospace engineers grapple with problems in all the segments of the life cycle of a product. Each segment, okay, right from the time that you plan or design an object, you analyze its configuration, you fabricate it, then you go for testing of it in the laboratory, then you integrate the components, go for flight testing, after it enters the service, you go for support, uh, and after you uh, use it for some time, there is a need to upgrade because it is very expensive to dispose it off. Uh, aircraft are not like mobile phones, which we discard after a usage of few years. A typical aircraft has a life of around 15 to 20 years, even more. There are some aircraft which have been flying for last 60 to 70 years, and they are still being used. Of course, they have undergone a lot of support and upgradation. And finally, when it is time to say goodbye to an aircraft, you still have problems of its disposal. So there are challenges in all segments of the life cycle, and aerospace engineers work on each of these areas uh, related to the aircraft. The other very important and exciting aspect about aerospace engineering is that there are a huge amount of spin-offs. Aerospace engineers create technology or products or systems to meet their very specific requirements. But very soon, those technologies find their way in the market for the common man. Uh, many technologies which we are used to today, such as the internet, which has allowed us to do this online session, uh, the GPS, which is used by us now for traveling, uh, the CAD CAM technologies, the computer-aided design and manufacturing technologies, the use of composite materials for uh, lightweight, stiff structures, the technology of uh, um, additive manufacturing or called as 3D printing, the radial tires that you see in the cars, they have come from the aircraft tires. 
the solar cells, which are now a field of their own, have been made by aerospace engineers to meet the requirements of spacecraft. Systems engineering as a subject and as an approach was first mastered by aerospace engineers. Even the popular eye correction surgery called LASIK surgery has its roots in aerospace engineering. In fact, if you are interested to know about spin-offs, I would encourage you to go to the website of NASA on aerospace spin-offs or NASA spin-offs. You will find that they bring out a book every year explaining what are the spin-offs in that year. Okay. In short, aerospace engineering is an absolutely fascinating field and never you will find a dull moment in your life if you actively engage in aerospace engineering. So for those of you who are passionate about technology, passionate about application of new technology to solve technical problems, challenging problems, this is the branch for you, this is the field for you to come forward and work on it. Now, what are the benefit, what is the benefit of aerospace engineering knowledge? Uh, even if you, you know, take up a, your uh, uh, course in some other branch like mechanical or electrical, etc. The interesting thing is that if you work in aerospace engineering as a minor or if you look at it as a associate subject, you will get much better and more exciting career prospects in your own basic core branch. And that is why, at least in IIT Bombay, the minor in aerospace engineering is quite popular. We offer only 20 seats and they almost every year get filled up very quickly. Uh, in my class of aerospace engineering minors, I have students from all the disciplines, right from computer science to mechanical to electrical to chemical, all of them metallurgy, civil. Do you name it and they are there in the class. Okay. So in short, I would like to end by saying that this is a field which makes you resilient, which makes you strong enough to tackle anything that comes in front of you. Because the aircraft, remember, it always takes off against the wind and also it lands against the wind. Okay, So we are the ones who fight to uh, make technology work for us. And therefore, uh, it's uh, something where there is a, never a dull moment. So I don't want to talk a lot. I would like to just open up the field now for queries because I could go on for hours together, but that is not the aim. So now I'm available, I'm open for any clarifications or doubts that anybody might have regarding the field of aerospace or aeronautical engineering. Thank you so much, sir, for your time and it was a great session. I am sure students could have gained insights from this session. So now we'll move on to Q&A and please feel to share any doubts which you have in your comment session. Yeah, you can type in your doubts on the chat window and we will take them up one by one. Okay, so Sukhman Singh has a question about is aerospace engineering a subset of mechanical engineering? 100% true. Aerospace engineering is a daughter of mechanical engineering. Yes. In fact, in many, many departments, you have aerospace and mechanical engineering department uh, and also in many places, the final year is a specialization. Okay. Uh, Sambhav Heda, the package of aerospace engineering people are uh, very difficult to tell about packages, definitely more than my package, but I'm able to survive in this society with my family. So if, you be, if you're an aerospace engineer like me, don't worry, you will be able to come by in the life very happily. And don't worry, you are right now at undergraduate level and don't worry about packages. Packages will run after you. You don't run after packages. Okay. Uh, what is the impact of AI in this field? We need major impact. I have also done some work on shape optimization of um, aerofoils and envelopes using this one. Yes, definitely uh, there is a huge impact of AI uh, in aerospace engineering. There are many, many useful uh, applications, uh, especially in the areas of air traffic management, operations, design, etc. Uh, okay, uh, where all do you get placed? Wherever there is a requirement for a cutting edge engineering knowledge, you will get placed. It may not necessarily be only in the aerospace sector. Remember, an aerospace engineer is equipped to handle almost any discipline's challenges because you're working at the cutting edge of technology. So therefore your knowledge, your skills are useful for almost any branch. So 
uh, you may not actually get directly placed in the aerospace sector, but doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, uh, there is a question about development of spacecraft simulation as part of this course. Yes, we do have courses on spacecraft uh, operations or spacecraft studies. Simulation is something that you can learn and do. Um, Rishi Mule has a question about dual degree course being better compared to B.Tech followed by M.Tech. I completely agree. If you do a dual degree course, you will save one year because you will be able to get an M.Tech degree uh, from the starting point in five years instead of four plus two. So definitely, if you are clear right now that you are interested in a career in research and you would like to do a master's later, best thing is to do a dual degree because with, without any hassle of appearing for gate and clearing it or getting a very high CPI, you can get directly an M.Tech degree. For doing one project, which is over a year, you will get two degrees, the B.Tech degree and an M.Tech degree. Uh, Sukhman Singh, any example of a job after passing through aerospace engineering? Sukhman, uh, every year there are students who are passing out from my department and I don't know of anybody who is unemployed. So there is no problem at all. What are the major courses taught in the four years of B.Tech aerospace engineering? There are four basic uh, disciplines in aerospace engineering. Uh, aerodynamics, structures, propulsions and controls, as was shown in the video. And uh, apart from that, we also have uh, aircraft design or design as a course. Okay. So uh, these are the main courses, but uh, in today's uh, system, we have a lot of elective courses where people can do uh, whatever they feel like and whatever is their interest. Okay, uh, let me just keep going ahead. Um, so there are so many questions, okay. Uh, if not IIT or NIT, is there any source from where we can learn from prof like you? Uh, as many of my colleagues have been saying yesterday, Ajinkya, you can go to NPTEL. And in NPTEL, most of the professors uh, who are interested in sharing their knowledge with others like me, they run the courses. I run three courses in NPTEL and hopefully there will be a fourth course recorded very soon. I have a course on introduction to aerospace engineering, which will start from July. I have a course on introduction to aircraft design. And I also am planning to, uh, and also have a course on another area uh, called as lighter than air systems. Okay, So therefore, uh, you can use NPTEL to learn from uh, professors like us. Uh, are there any aerospace, Samyak has a question, are there any aerospace courses good in colleges other than IITs? There are several institutes in the country which have uh, uh, an undergraduate course in aerospace engineering. Okay, you have to look at their rankings. See, in our country, it's very simple. The degree of difficulty in getting into a college is an indication of how good or how bad the college is. So if you can get into a college purely on the basis of money, or on the basis of even with poor marks very easily, then it is not a good college. If you get into a college, if you need JE main high score, or if you need JE advanced score, that means the college is good. So you can measure the goodness of a college simply by the degree of difficulty in getting into that college. That at least is very much true for colleges in India. So therefore, that is an answer to the question directly proportion to the degree of difficulty. So uh, look at that and then you will be able to do. Uh, Akshat has a question about study of rockets and satellites come under the branch. Yes, definitely it is there. We have courses in rocket propulsion. We have uh, courses on satellites. And in fact, our students are also building small satellites. So uh, Harsh says, if I, if I choose to pursue a course on IIT Bombay, is it compulsory for me to stay in the hostel? No, no, you can travel. If you are a localite, you, and if you prefer to stay outside the hostel, IIT will permit because we are having severe shortage of hostel accommodation. So, uh, if you are, uh, if you have accommodation in your house in IIT, you can definitely stay there and commute. But take my advice: eighty percent of the learning and the bonding in an IIT takes place in the hostel. Only twenty percent happens in the department. Uh, when our alumni visit our institute, they first go to the hostel and then come to the department. Therefore, my advice to you will be, even though, even though you, have, you may have a home in Mumbai, I would advise you to still stay in the hostel. There are some of my colleagues in IIT Bombay who stay inside IIT Bombay in a faculty accommodation, but their children have decided to stay in the hostel. Hostel life is very useful for making uh, your personality and for improving your networks. So even though you have an option to stay outside, I would not recommend you to do. However, if you want to stay, we will be very happy because it will save us hassles. 
Uh, what are the Kamal Preet? What are the various jobs in aerodynamics and performance sector? Uh, in the performance sector, there are many airlines in the country. We have hired, we have hired. There was a time when the uh, performance department of Jet Airways was full of only aerospace engineers from my department. So uh, even now I know an aerospace engineering student who works for SpiceJet in the performance department or in Indigo. So uh, definitely you can get openings there. Regarding aerodynamics, there are newer and newer jobs coming up. There are companies opening up their offices, so you will not have any problem. Uh, Sid wants to know about MS in aerospace engineering. MS is available only at few places. Okay, In IIT Bombay, we don't have an MS program. We have only have an MTech program, but in IIT Madras, there is a very strong, very good MS program and also in a few other IITs. Uh, Priyanshu Singh has a very general question, job opportunity in the aerospace sector. The answer is, don't worry, you will not be unemployed. You may not, see, it's not necessary when you are an undergraduate, it's not necessary for you to really, really end up only in the aerospace sector. I was lucky that I got job into HAL or when I, when I finished my undergrad degree, but it's not really necessary. Uh, Rishi Mule wants to know MTech at IIT or IISC. The Rishi, if you get MTech in IISC in aerospace engineering, I would prefer that you go there. Uh, MTech in IISC is very good. It's very nice. Uh, what does a control system engineer do in the field of aerospace? Uh, KSI, the, uh, the aerospace engineer basically learns how to control the aircraft because it's of no use to have an aircraft that flies unless it is able to be flown properly and controlled properly. So you look at the control systems. It's the backbone of aerospace engineering, actually. Uh, okay, so Raj Sikhar says that uh, not be able to clear the advanced examination, but interested in aerospace and AI. Uh, no problem. You are, uh, you are welcome to take up admission in uh, other colleges in the country which have aerospace engineering, and you can definitely learn about AI. Uh, there are many, not many colleges who offer aerospace. That is wrong, I think. Yeah. I can tell you there are around 200 places in the country which have aerospace engineering now. So don't worry about uh, Not all of them are good. I agree with you. But there is no shortage of colleges which have aerospace now. Every now and then, newer and newer colleges are opening. Okay. Uh, Sukman Singh has a very interesting question. Shouldn't we choose mechanical as, as it is more vast and aerospace is a subset? Yes. If you are able to get mechanical engineering based on your rank, no problem. You can go for mechanical. Absolutely no problem. Because as I said, aerospace engineering is basically only an offshoot of mechanical. So you are welcome. But then when you do mechanical, you have to do, you have to learn many, 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 many things, all of which may not be useful for you for aerospace. So it's up to you. If you think you want to play safe with your career and be a mechanical engineer and specialize in aero, you can do that. If you want to uh, really go into the deep uh, learning of aerospace, you should take it. Uh, Rishi Mule wants to know he's specializing in aerospace engineering after BTEC in mechanical or civil, a good idea. Yes, it's a very good idea. Many people do it. And I also recommend that. So I would say instead of doing aerospace engineering undergraduate in a horrible or a useless college, you better do mechanical or civil from a good college or electrical yeah. from a good college and then come to here. Uh, Somebody wants to know about subjects that we learn in these four years. As I mentioned to you, you look at four basic subsets of aerospace engineering. The aerodynamics, which looks at the uh, forces and the moments which are created on the aircraft as it flies. You look at structures, which makes it compact and allows it to take the loads. You look at uh, propulsion, which is regarding the power plant. And you also uh, look at the controls. So these are the four disciplines. And then there is a uniform fan discipline where all these knowledge uh, bases are combined to design or conceive the aircraft. Okay. Uh, Sid, I have already answered your question, so don't keep on repeating your questions. Uh, Kushavir Singh wants to know if we take aerospace, can we also take computer related courses besides studying? Yes, 100%. In all IITs, mostly you have a minor option, IIT Bombay also. And uh, there are students in my department who take a minor in computer science. And uh, they, you know, are able to use that knowledge. In fact, aerospace engineering students also do a lot of courses in computer science in the electives. What areas of physics, Darsh wants to know, does aerospace engineering majorly deal with? See, we deal with mostly statics and dynamics, okay, and kinematics. That is what we normally deal with. Uh, I think that is what we normally deal with in physics. Um, okay, then... Uh, the questions are now getting repeated. What are the major job roles in the industry for aerospace engineers in today's world? 
basically you go into the aerospace industry with your analytical skills and your computing skills and uh, therefore you are able to work with the major aerospace companies most of the aerospace companies are opening up their offices in india because they realize that indian engineers are very very capable very hard working and very passionate so they have realized that it is more value for money for them and it is also uh, good for them to depend on the engineers so that's why they are uh, very very uh, upbeat so they are opening offices in india okay um, is it worth doing aerospace engineering in india why not it is worth but as i mentioned to you shivan be very careful regarding the college you choose in case you have a doubt you can consult me i will give i have given my email address but i am going to give it again in case anybody has any doubt regarding which college we should go you are welcome to send a mail to me i am just putting my address uh, in the chat window i'll be happy to advise you and start you okay so uh, well where do we go now okay uh, okay then uh, which iit allowed branch change i don't know iit bombay has stopped but other iit iit hyderabad also has stopped i came to know yesterday you have to check it up yourself uh, but branch change is not a good option i don't think you should worry about branch change um okay how should one decide if he should go for a career or research or a job don't worry you do things as life takes you at an undergraduate level you know if you look at my own case you have asked about how did you decide my career i decided my career based on how my life uh, you know and uh, unfolded as i as i did more and more things in my career i came to know what i like and then i shifted from there to academics from the industry so you just follow your heart you don't have to plan it and you are right now at such a young age just go to a good institute have a very strong undergraduate degree and then go rishi wants to know about mtech in propulsion it's one of the most wonderful specializations and very much in demand i would recommend it to people who are interested in propulsion um, it is an applied application so you can work either in the uh, spacecraft part rocket propulsion part or in the aircraft part uh she wants have a very general question about career opportunities for aerospace engineering in india don't worry these are see nobody can answer these questions these are questions which unnecessarily are going to create a problem you better ask me more about what is there in the subject what is there in the department job prospects are dependent on so many things you know when you pass out uh krish wants to know uh, as an avid interest in mathematics and physics will aerospace engineering help me 100% your knowledge of physics and maths is very much required to be a good aerospace engineers uh, which colleges from abroad are good for ms why should you go abroad for ms i don't understand when there are so many good colleges within the country what is the point in going abroad and we are not here to discuss right now about going abroad we are here to discuss about aerospace engineering as a career Uh, atharva i i don't think there is any need for anyone to go abroad for aerospace engineering today because there are so many good institutes four iits and one uh, iisc having such a nice program i don't see any reason for you to think of going abroad which fields among wants to know are open after btech aerospace yeah you can go into energy systems you can go into mechanical you can go into other branches also priyanshu wants to know what subject is most important in aerospace engineering as required by aerospace companies well they not they not a single subject they want well rounded engineers they want you to be good in all the four disciplines so aerodynamics structures propulsion and control in all four subjects and all four fields you should have uh, you should be able to excel uh, kushari wants to know if you have to choose between iit kanpur and iit khadakpur which one would be better it that depends on the personal choice there are many many factors which are uh you used by a person to decide which iit i can answer this question to you offline kushagra if you send me an email maybe i'll set up a meeting with you but this is not something that can be answered or what is the basis of comparison right it is doesn't take it's very difficult uh, what is the scope ashwin wants to know of air breathing profession in india very very good because india is now in the cusp of developing its own um fighter jet engine okay we are looking for very good propulsion engineers because the country is upbeat in developing its own fighter aircraft engine 
IST exclusively offers B.Tech in aerospace. Is that a good option? It's a very good option if you want to take up a career in ISRO because that is a shortcut to a job in ISRO uh, that the people who maintain a particular CPI and depending on the requirement of ISRO, they directly get job. Around 90 people out of 120 apparently are able to be absorbed directly. This number will reduce with time because they also will get saturated. But if you are interested to work in space technology, the best thing for you to do is to go to IIST. Uh, sir, I will not answer your question because I don't think you should go abroad for MS in aerospace engineering. Uh, what is the flow of learning space served by syllabus? As I told you, there are these four disciplines. Sukhman Singh wants to know if there is a startup like SpaceX. 100% possible. There are already three or four companies which are looking at uh, aerospace uh, in India, like Skyroot Aviation, New Space Technologies. And will IIT Bombay help in that? 100% because IIT Bombay has a very strong incubation culture and you will definitely be able to do this. Uh, Lavanya wants to know what applications can aerospace engineering have in robotics. Well, Lavanya, I'm right now leading a project on application of robotics in aerospace engineering. So I can tell you that there is no shortage. I have in my lab with me students who have specialized in robotics working as project engineers. So definitely uh, this is. Uh, Bhargavi, this question about notable colleges apart from I IITs in aerospace engineering. As I already mentioned to you, uh, notable or good colleges in India are the ones where admission is difficult. So on, base on the basis of your uh, level of difficulty in entering the college, that is the level of goodness of the college. So there are uh, several colleges which are good. Just check out how difficult it is to get into them and that will be the answer. Uh, Piyush Chaudhary wants to know how do you see the aerospace engineering evolving in the next decade and how much it has changed in the last decade? Well, everything that I studied in my college has become obsolete. Everything which I studied as um, an MTech student in IIT Madras has become obsolete. So this is a very, very evolving branch. The research area in which I work today was not taught to me in my college. Although I have done three degrees in aerospace engineering, I have a B.Tech degree, I have an M.Tech degree, and I have a Ph.D. degree, but I have not learned anything in my departments based on, I mean, which will directly helpful to me today in my research. So this is the speed at which this branch is changing. Uh, Samyak wants to know what are the chances of getting a job purely related to aerospace to do B.Tech mechanical? Very low, very low, because... There are enough good aerospace engineers available today in the market. So if you want a job which is purely aerospace related, chances are that you will not be able to get. Mechanical engineers can work in companies which are doing aerospace, but you, your question is purely related to aerospace. The chances are very poor. Uh, Shikhar wants to know, uh, after mechanical engineering, which field will align the most with aeronautical engineering? Uh, Shikhar, even mechanical is fine. Or you can go for a degree in aerospace after doing mechanical. You can do a master's in aerospace, and that will allow you. Uh, mechanical engineers are welcome in aerospace in all the four specializations. Okay, so after BTEC in mechanical, uh, Shekhar, you can do MTech in aeronautical, either in aerospace, uh, aerodynamics, structures, or control, both of them. Okay, all right. So we have some questions from YouTube. Fine. So. Uh, let me just quickly finish first the questions which are here and then when you think time is up, I would uh, like you to open up and uh, ask me to stop and then start reading the questions from YouTube. Uh, Aditi wants to know if a person is interested both in CS and aerospace, which subject should the person choose? Aditi, very tough question. I would say choose both. I would say you do a bachelor in, bachelor in CS and minor in aerospace or you do a bachelor in aerospace and minor in CS. Okay, it's up to you depending on where you end up and which, uh, if the college allows you to do this kind of a dual degree. Krish Kumar says, most of the families today aspire continuity, financial independence, stability, job placements, corporate. Okay. So this problem, see Krish, this is a problem which has to be solved only when the students themselves take a stand and tell their parents that please allow me to do what I'm interested in and automatically jobs will follow. Priyanshu wants to know for Memtech in propulsion, which is the best either aircraft or spacecraft. For Memtech in propulsion, depending on whether you want to work in aircraft propulsion or spacecraft propulsion, you can go there. Uh, okay, VG is in the first year, 
and how to boost coding and tech related things. This is not related to today's question. Uh, so today's uh, session, so I'll skip it. Uh, from, from YouTube, Yanam has uh, sent me a question. Aeroplanes are huge contributors to climate change. How are we as aerospace engineering take steps? Very good question. Um, I work in the area of sustainable aviation technologies. We are looking at sustainable aviation fuels. We are looking at sustainable technologies. I have two PhD students working with me on this area. So aerospace engineers are very, very sensitive regarding the pollution that is being caused. Now, your statement which says that aeroplanes are huge contributors to climate change is wrong. The total CO2 uh, contribution by aerospace is only 2% of the total. However, that 2% takes place at a very critical area where the ozone layer can get depleted and also near the ground where there are people. So we take, even though it is only 2%, we are aiming to make 50% reduction in the next 20, 30 years. Uh, Nonis wants to know, can I enter IAF after pursuing aerospace? 100%. There are my batchmates also who did, uh, who joined Indian Air Force after doing MTech, uh, after doing BTech in aerospace engineering. So yes, you have definitely been able to, you can definitely get into Indian Air Force. Okay, Adib, thank you so much for your very positive comments. Uh, Mainak Bose, can a chemical engineering pursue MTech in aerospace? Is it any is chemical anywhere? Chemical is related to aerospace in the areas of fuels and combustion. So chemical engineers can contribute in the area of uh, uh, sustainable fuels, or they can help in the area of reduction of the soot and other things in the fuel. So yes, you can contribute, but you can contribute uh, at a little bit more, uh, you know, specific level and a research level. So maybe you can come for a master's or a PhD. Master's, I'm not sure if it is allowed. Most probably it's not allowed because you need to have certain basic exposure to do MTech in aerospace. But for PhD, yes, I am not, I have no doubt that if you are a good chemical engineer who can contribute and work in the area of fuel technology, fuel, 100% you can come into aerospace engineering. So I think now the questions have all dried up and uh, we can open up uh, for some more questions from YouTube, if they are there. Yeah, sir. So uh, I don't... The, the questions from YouTube have been repeated of these ones. So I'll ask the unique questions here. Great. So I think then all the questions are over. So if you want, we can stay for some more time or we can leave. Um, I guess the questions are over. So uh, thank you so much sir, for your time and it was a great session. And uh, we will take a short break now and the next session will resume at 2.30 p.m. Okay. Before I go, I want to just make one statement that I have shared my email address with you. Do not hesitate to contact me. I normally answer all the emails which I receive from students. It may take a little bit of time. Don't worry that I don't neglect or I don't uh, ignore any email that is from a student with a genuine inquiry. Okay. So please don't hesitate. I have shared my address with you. Use it and contact me. And especially, I want to make a statement. Before you decide to join any college other than the IITs for aerospace engineering, kindly, kindly take time out and consult me. Okay. So Tanya wants to know where is the mail? Okay, so Tanya, I'm going to put my mail once again in the group chat. Okay, so I will put it again. Uh, nowadays, actually, you will be able to get our email directly online also. You just have to give our name and search on Google and you will get our email. Okay. But I put it, I put it once again for you. Right. So hope all of you have a very good career and I hope to see many of you in IIT Bombay. Uh, Krish Kumar, yes, you can definitely send a mail if you want to have any guidance regarding research. Um, Rishi Mule, no advice. First you get into aerospace and then you will anyway meet us. And then we will have minimum four years or five years to be together. So no advice. Enjoy your life. You have spent so much of your effort and time in preparing for JE. Uh, Shlok wants to know about becoming a pilot. Yes, you can become test pilots. And one of my friends is an aerospace engineering graduate from my own college. I'm, I am from Punjab Engineering College, ex-student. He is also my junior and he is a test pilot. He is a test like test engineer. So I can help you with that also. Okay. So please, uh, specific questions regarding colleges, it is better that you ask me directly via email. 
Uh, Varun has a very good question about dual degree in IIT Bombay. Yes, in IIT Bombay, what happens is somewhere in the third year, if you feel like converting to dual degree, you, you put an application. You have to find a supervisor also. And there is a committee which will, uh, departmental PG committee that will look into your application. And if they, if they feel that this person is uh, good enough to be converted to dual degree, they will allow you. Okay. So yes, uh, Varun, you can convert to dual degree uh, when you come to the third year in uh, your undergraduate program. And many students do that. Many students who develop interest in the subject or a specialization, they feel that they want to do more than just a BTEC. They want to delve deeper. So they convert to a dual degree. And I think it's a very good idea because you get to spend one more year in IIT Bombay or in any other IIT. What is the problem? You are in such a wonderful place, such a wonderful environment. You can learn so many things. Where do you get a chance to be in such a nice environment with uh, such a conducive atmosphere and supportive environment? So many people decide to stay back for one more year and in return, they get an MTech degree. So what is the problem? Any more questions? Anyway, I think from now on, they will ask questions via email. So maybe we should just uh, stop the session. So I'm going to leave. Thank you so much, TechFest team. You're doing a wonderful job in educating the students about various branches and putting them in touch with the professors. So a great uh, shout of hurrah to the Ed Conclave organizers. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for your precious time, and it was a great session. I guess the students have great insights for the aerospace engineering branch, and we love to have you inspire them again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, sir. Uh, so for